Okay, the cliffhanger last episode was a little mean, I'll be honest. But it's fine because we're resolving it today. Because I'm going to watch what happens. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. And today we have Oath from Vinland Saga. Well, yes, uh, Anor and Thorfinn kind of went balls to the wall at the end of the last one, attacking the retainers. And I'm not even sure if it's even real. What is real anymore? Gonna hop into this. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. Let me guess, it starts with a nightmare. Oh, no, a dr wait, is it a dream instead of a nightmare? What a cute little lamb. I think that's what that is. No way. Bro gets to sleep peacefully. This is Vinland. I figured he got knocked out and that, that's, that's why he's unconscious right now. Oh, why does he sound so different? Oh. Oh no, bro thinks. Oh no, oh no. This is so sad. The lamb saw a butterfly. Thorfinn sounds so different because he sounds so carefree. He's not all guarded. It's kind of weird. Oh, it is real. They just knocked him out. Is Anar, Anar still standing? <gasps> Oh, shoot. How much trouble are they going to get in? They're literally going to try to kill them. At least one of them. They did the Naruto Sasuke. He knocked out two of them already. Oh. Ah. Oh, that sounds like a... They're actually giving up. Oh, my gosh. You cowards. Wait, they actually got alphaed. I mean, Thorfinn probably took at least one out, but like, that's like actually 1v5. Oh no. Even if like Kettle didn't punish them, they're just going to mess with their farm like persistently now. Like no matter what, even though they stood up for themselves, they're so outnumbered. Did we? I can't believe he was actually able to like stave them off. They're actually the biggest cowards in the world. That's insane. Oath. Oh, wait, we're back in the dream. Thorfinn's still unconscious. Oh. Thor's coming to visit him in his dreams, too. Yeah, he sounds like his younger self. Gonna tell him about his night. <laughs> this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? It's a fake out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. With his knife, too. It's a family heirloom. They were Thor's. Oh my. Is it young Anar? It could have been. From the previous nightmare. Oh my gosh. Not to just hunt. Lessons to teach him. Still wanted to raise him. Mm -hmm. He was still so young. But he was starting to slowly teach him from what we saw. Thor's is apologizing. Oh. Why he. Yeah, why he told him what he did before he died. Mm. God damn. And Thor's with his own demons, too. Yeah, but how is he supposed to get any resolve out of it? How is he supposed to, I don't know, find peace? Seems like nothing can happen that will get him there. It just feels like it. It feels like it's getting worse, if anything. Oh my god! Oh my god! That hurts me! It's like fingernails are like ripping. Oh my god! Bro, Thorfinn's voice actor went freaking crazy. Even at the bottom, there's blood. What the hell is this nightmare? Oh, it's just like a war down there. Oh my. No, this isn't Valhalla. This is hell. I would think Valhalla would look a little nicer, but it is like warriors down here. What the hell, man? 
I'm trying to see if we recognize anyone. But yeah, these are straight up warriors. It's like an eternal hell of fighting. This is the true Valhalla. Or how Thorfinn sees it now. This is so twisted. Is that Thor's? No. Oh, Bjorn. Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Askeladd. Oh, no. Wait. This is how he sees a warrior's path now. Oh, it's so weird hearing his voice. Oh, wait. He's sitting above all the rest, though. He's not, like, partaking. Wait. Maybe there's something that he needs to hear from, like, Askeladd in his own head. I don't know. Because it's not, like, him actually talking to him. But, like, maybe lessons that he hasn't figured out that he already learned from him. <laughs> already back here again. What? Is this where all his nightmares have taken place? God, they're like last in the background. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, bro. Dude, it's not the afterlife, it's actually hell. Oh, warriors. Those that were successful and those that weren't. Well, I guess they just said if you died in battle, you went to Valhalla. Everybody's your enemy. It's the complete opposite of Thor's entire mantra. Used to. It's like he's better now. He's found a new path. It has to be for better. Why would you ever want to be here? I guess it's the perspective of what you want. Some warriors would actually want to fight forever here. As the man who dragged you here. Oh, like put him on that path? Yeah, he's still just hanging. He did put him on the path, technically. Nothing. And farming. Wow. I'm surprised he still thinks that. I guess he sees these things like, yeah, naturally. His instincts are warriors. Mm-hmm. Dude, look at his... Oh, my God. Dude, Asquad actually has to, like, inspire him. Try to keep your eyes open. Oh, my gosh. Trying to pull him down. How cruel. Hmm. They want to leave. Those are probably closest to him. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Bro, if he woke up screaming from other nightmares, this one's going to obliterate him. Oh, my. I feel like he almost, yeah, he's almost just gonna let go. Like, he feels like he deserves it. I'm not even fighting back anymore. So many. They're not even pulling him down anymore. Even that's what I said, like, they just, they're, they're complaints. This is the first time we've seen him mourn for them, though. Like, I know, I knew he regretted it, but... I don't know if we've ever seen him actively like mourn for the people he's killed. Especially this like face on. Oh, Asquad's jumping down. He doesn't. Climb despite their, them pulling him down. Does he have to pull all the way up with them on? Oh my. Oh my gosh. Dude, I got insane goosebumps. He's awake. Bro, my entire leg. Oh my god, bro. All goosebumps. That's his battle. Not pretending like his past didn't happen, but taking that with him. Dude, oh, I feel like he's like had like a revelation. Did Aino just leave him? Human. Oh my God, dude. What an insane sequence. Oh, nope. Aino passed out too. Oh my God. If Aino had, had died here, nah, they would have obliterated him again. If Aino dies in general, I don't know what I'll do with myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Ah, 
I miss Ascalon so much. That piece of trash. I miss him so much. Yeah, they are in rough shape. Mm -hmm. And what is their punishment? <laughs> it was a really nice punch. It just scared me. This is the first time I think Einar's seen him cry. But he sees it as like, it's either you're a warrior or you're not. There's like no, there's no blurred line. Ends now. Dude, oh no. I feel like he's going to be pushed so hard. Oh, he's going to be tested. That's how he's reborn. <laughs> god him seeing thor's oh my gosh he's found the path and now he's on it holy shit yes w kettle are they gonna mess with their farm more oh evidence Oh. Let's go, dude. Yeah, Pater being on Thorfinn and Einar's side helps a lot. Not because he's good. Damn. <laughs> he's still backseating them. I mean, he's probably genuinely helping. Dude, things feel so optimistic. Oh my gosh. It's all gonna come crashing down and my soul's going to shake. Our boy has a path. He's got a true path. He's not just floating on through life anymore. That's where he was. Like he knew that he was empty, but he was fine with the fact that he was. Almost like there was no hope for him. And who would have thought that would have taken both of his dads giving him a, a short little talk to get him on the right path of where he needed to go. I like the concept though of, of Thorfinn having this dream. And it's not like Asgard himself can directly talk to him, but it's almost like the manifestation of him and Thorfinn knowing exactly what he would say to him, which shows us that Thorfinn knows what he needs, knows what he wants. He just needs it in the, like presented to him in this way from someone he's lost, Pe multiple people that he's lost. But do, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to rewatch that entire sequence again because like the, the color shifting out as he reached up and screamed. Oh my gosh, man, that was, that was probably one of the top five moments in the series thus far for me. I'm just so glad he has a &R by his side to slowly grow i mean even like adar said like i don't really understand but I i'm with you and the best case scenario ended up for the retainers but we're not even halfway through the season and we've had such high highs and low lows that i'm just absolutely terrified of what could come because now there there's so many people i care about like pater anar even kettle like i think kettle has a good heart genuinely but the more good people that we have the the more we have to lose and that's that's terrifying but guys that's been it for my reaction to oath today drop a like on this one if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.